What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, aka Safe Home Outdoors. Spring is here. It's about 70 degrees today. Water caps are above 60. We're gonna be throwing a lot of boating baits, swim baits, glide baits, spinner baits. I think we're gonna catch them today. So come on. One. First one of the day, baby. You look little red crankbait on the rocks. Plus a striper. <laughs> That's why you fight so hard. First one. A little baby striper. Got one, baby. Blue goes swim bait. I think it's a striper. It is a striper. <laughs> Dang, so many stripers today. Hey, you messed up my line. Got him. That's what was biting earlier. Beast Coast, Miyagi Bluegill Swimmer, baby. Let's go. That's why I was missing them earlier. They were biting, but I think they were too small. This is a four inch swim bait, so it's not hella big, but it's a little thick. No lie. Check it out. It's just kind of, kind of thick. I think it really matches the hatch though. You know, it's California Delta, so that's what they're feeding on. Bluegills, bluegills, shad, crawfish. It's the perfect size too, just size, size they're looking for. We're about eight feet of water now. Water temp is sitting at 58 degrees, not at 60 yet. But it's heating up for sure. Still only 11.30, so that was plenty of time for the water to heat up. Oh, no way. Just broke off. I barely pulled it. What? It must have been on something sharp. Shout out to a local company, man, G Rat Baits. This is the new uh, swim bait that they just dropped, Executioner Weedless. I'm gonna give this a shot. There was a time to get bit. It'll be right now. Oh, it just got tapped. Oh, is he on? Is he on? No, no, I got tapped. No, man. Ah, oh, first bite on a G Rat Baits Executioner swim bait. Weedless. I feel like this rod is just a little too soft for swim baits. This is like my my crank bait. Chatterbait, spinnerbait rod. Uh, and it does good on chatterbaits, no doubt, but I feel like it's just a little too soft for this bigger hook. This is a six aught owner beast hook, and it really needs that like that hard hook set. That was a good bite too. Tapped it once. I told you guys, and it came back for it. Uh, might be one of those small stripers again. Oh, 
right, I'm about to make a run back. Go fish by where I got those first few bites near the lunch. Is this another striper? Striper City today, yo. are loving this little crankbait. Safe to say we know what they're eating. A little follower. A little sharper follower. Oh no, dude! How are they not hooking up to the crankbait? Dang! Oh, no. And that's gonna be it for this one, guys. It was a pretty interesting day, you know. I went out there targeting largemouth bass, but I might have jinxed myself in the beginning, and I didn't end up catching a single one. I caught a bunch of baby stripers, so I'm always grateful for not skunking and catching any little ones that I can. I want to thank you guys for all the love lately, all the comments and subscribers. I appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll catch you.